Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at project reports and also reports using custom fields within Microsoft Project. These areas now will be covered in this particular video. In this demonstration, we're going to look at Microsoft Project reports and the use of custom fields within Microsoft Project reports. So we've got two custom fields here that's been created. One's an input field called actual project cost. So these are the actual costs of the project. So the baseline cost was the agreed cost. The actual cost might have been an overspend, for example, in the first task. And there's a variance, and that's a calculation. Now these two fields, the actual project cost, this is a this is a custom field, as well as the actual project cost variance. So we can look into these quickly by going to the project tab, custom fields, and in the cost section, there's two custom fields here that have been created. And these are now going to be charted to actually show the baseline cost against the actual project cost and what the variance is. So to do this, we can go to the report tab and we'll go to new report. And we'll just choose a chart. We can always modify this. And then I call it project cost variance. And project gives you a chart. Now it just gives you a default chart with fields it thinks might be useful. We can resize the chart. And right now, what it's given us is not what we want. Now, all the information is coming from the field list. And it's coming from the different sections. So the work project's using. It wants to use actual work. We don't want that to tick out. And we look for the other ticks, the remaining works. It's all work information our project is given us by default. There's another one, and there's another one. So in effect, we're now back to, back to blank. Now, what we want in this example is baseline. Now, we want baseline cost. So, when we come out to the work section, we're going to go into the cost section. Now, in the cost section, we want the baseline, and now we want the baseline cost. So, that's the baseline cost. That's what's has been measured. Now we're going to use our two custom fields. That's under custom. And I'm click on the first two because these are the ones that's been created. So one, two. So here we go. It looks a bit messy right now. We can modify this. So with something we can do with the chart to make the labels go much lower. Now this is on the Chart Format tab, so I've clicked on the headings. I'm going to go to Format Selection. And in the Label section, I'm going to go for the Label position, not to be next to Axis, but to go low. So now I can see them below the negative numbers. I'm going to close the free list down for now because it's done its job. And I'm going to close the chart area down for now, it's done its job. So I'm going to start formatting this chart a bit. So on the Chart Design, I'm going to pick a nice design that project already uh, has in play. I'll use the style 8. And we might want to change a color, for example. So of the, of the project cost variance, I'm going to change the, the color of these to make them stand up maybe a bit more. So I'm going to go to Format, Shape Fill, and you pick a slightly different color, just it just looks a bit different. Now we could add what's called data labels to this, see what the actual the actual variance is. So you can see the variance on the chart. So I'm going to click on one of the variance bars. I'm going to go to the chart design tab, add chart elements, data labels, and I'm going to go outside end. Now you might think that looks okay, 
maybe a bit messy in some places. We can sort this out. I'll just make the chart a bit bigger for now. First thing I'm going to do with this is get rid of the decimal points. So I'm going to click on the data labels first. Go to the format selection. I'm going to go to the number section. Currency, and I don't want any decimals. So this is the way you can tidy up the chart. And I'll do the same for the axis. I don't want the decimals on the axis either. So currency, remove the decimals to zero. And the, the chart starts looking better now. Now the zeros now, I, I don't want these zeros. So I can find a color that goes with the background of the charts and I click on the first zero. And the font is what I actually want to change. And I want the font to be a slightly different color. Try another one, get rid of the zero. And when you've done one, the others get easier. You can just click on the font color now. So all I'm doing, I'm just changing the zero ones just to tidy it up a little bit. I might want to make the legend stand out a bit more, make that a bit bigger. Okay, that, that looks easy to read. And maybe where we've got a biggish overspend, I'll change the color. So this 1,700, that's a bigger overspend. Change the font color. And now the chart becomes quite readable using custom fields. And now all of a sudden we've got a chart that is quite meaningful regarding the look of the chart, what it's trying to do, the legend telling us what's happening, the blue being the baseline cost, the orange being the actual project cost, and the green being the variance. So this is how you can create a chart in project using custom fields and how you've then got to tweak around with the chart to get the look that you finally want. This now completes the demonstration on project reports and custom fields within project reports. See you in the next video.